Good afternoon. My name is Samantha Lindgren, and I'm a 41-year-old woman in long-term recovery. Thank you. <laughs> I am an enrolled member of MHA Nation as well as Turtle Mountain Chippewa Tribe. I'm currently employed by Chairman Fox with Special Projects and Planning. I have also been serving on the Board of Legal Services since 2019. My story with addiction started with alcohol and weed, and by the age of 18, I was an IV drug user. Throughout my addiction, I went through the vicious cycle of seeking treatment, getting clean, and then the shame of relapsing. Another form of treatment which opened new wounds each and every time, so this cycle continued on for 25 years. In the depths of my addiction, I sat with a 100cc needle filled with meth and opiates in the hopes of ending my life because I told Creator I couldn't do this anymore. And if I didn't succeed to incarcerate me on my multitude of warrants, I would come to you in a cold shower with two friends crying over me, performing CPR and giving me Narcan. Clearly, Creator had other plans for me as I failed to take my own life that day, but I did find myself in prison less than a month later. On January 5th, 2018, our family suffered the tremendous loss of my aunt Juanita Helfrey, whom I had promised the day before that I would continue to live a life to make her proud from here on out. Her death happened during my last incarceration with the Department of Corrections in a halfway house. And in the car right on the way to her services with my aunt Nellie, it was recommended I try dialectic behavior therapy as well as get into trauma counseling. She, she had suggested to me that to succeed at recovering this time, I had to get comfortable with not only overcoming my addiction, but confronting my traumas and working on the aftermath of the mental illness that had left, was left behind. So today, as I stand here 46 months clean and sober from dual diagnosis, I am forever grateful for the unfailing love and faith of my Creator God, my family, my auntie moms, Nellie and Karen, who are in attendance right there and the true heroes of my story, my children who, can, who have chosen to forgive me and continue to love me unconditionally, my friends, especially Connie, Anne, Shelby, Morgan, and Mariah, as well as Chairman Fox, the Free Through Recovery Program and the Warriors of the 21st Century Program. It took a community of people to get me here. And although I am putting the work in, without them, I wouldn't be here where I am today. Thank you all so much for your time.